I hope we get to see forever, but forever's gone away. It's so. <laughs> <laughs> Can't even enjoy myself. No peace. Today, today's your last day here for a little bit. Today's my last day. You're going, going to Harry Potter Land. Ooh. Universal Studios? Universal Studios. Right, We're you gonna... And, you and the fam family? We're gonna drive to Florida. How many hours is that? 16, I think. 14, About something six, like yeah, that. I think 16. Yeah, so it'll be a long drive. Oh, man. Pregnant okay. wife. Fun stuff. My kid, nowadays, kids got it made because they can look at their phone the whole time. The whole time. You know, when Are I was growing yet? up, we Are were we fighting, yet? playing car bingo and Looking the at alphabet the alphabet game. Mm -hmm. You ever play the alphabet game? What's the alphabet game? Everybody in the car starts at A, and you got to find a sign or something that starts with that letter until you get to Z. No, nah, I don't remember playing that. Oh yeah, we played that going to Florida last summer. <laughs> yeah. So you just cleaning up all, putting uh, wire loom on all these wires, and just yeah. And then you know some of the stuff was ran crazy, so I'm just running it a little nicer and trying to make it look nice. Cool. Do All the right. best we can with what we got. That's what we've been doing a lot of here lately. <coughs> yeah. And this truck is earning its name. Snake oil. Snake oil. All right, took this fabric home last night. I was gonna scorch guard it at home, but you know what? Kind of didn't feel like it. So this morning I ironed it. There was a crease right here in the middle, but then I realized one of these pieces that I cut is a little bit smaller. There was that where I cut out originally. So anyways, I messed up. I'm gonna use that. I'm gonna practice. I'm gonna scotch guard this real quick. I'm gonna use this right here. 3M scotch guard. And I tested a piece of fabric already. Works great. It doesn't change the color. And it creates a water repellent and hopefully a stain repellent on this fabric. This is what we're gonna put in the dually. Uh, I'm gonna wrap all these lower door panels pieces, which would normally be carpet, we're gonna wrap it in this material right here. We're probably gonna use this on a couple other pieces in the car, uh, in the truck, especially like there the door panels go. Let me show you that. Yeah, in these pieces. Right here, where your door, where your, your, door, your door handle is. Your door handle is. So uh, yeah, we'll wrap that. That's gonna be a challenge with all those corners, but luckily your door handle covers up a lot of that. What are you spraying scotch bright for? scotch bright scotch guard scotch bright scotch bright We're brightening it up, man. Keeping it bright. That's what it's for. Yeah. Uh, just so it doesn't get dirty. This might not want to dry because it's uh, already scotch guarded. <laughs> the scotch guard won't stick to the scotch guard. All right, I'm gonna put it over here, let it dry. Have you already done this other panel? Yeah, I've already done this one once, but I gotta wipe up this in between. Wipe. Wipe. Wipe it. Yeah, because then the wipe. glue won't stick to it. Yeah. I'm about to do a practice piece because I don't want to mess up these pieces that I've already covered and have my grommets in and everything. I don't want to try the first time wrapping fabric on them and it mess up and I not do it right. I've got a piece of board that I cut out that was just wrong. So another practice piece and uh, I'm gonna wrap it with the material and then I'm gonna try to uh, wrap it with this piece of fabric right here because it's a little bit uh, smaller. I didn't realize when I cut these pieces that it had this little cutout in it. So I'm just gonna go ahead and try to wrap this material to this piece right here. Just practice.
All right. I am pretty happy with the outcome. Show you all the back side. My corners are my biggest uh, problem area. I just don't know how to do the corners. I need to watch some YouTube videos or something. But anyways, that's what it looks like. Look at that. All right, so I'm gonna bring you along. I tried something off camera that was a little different to get my corners better, and I messed up on this side. Uh, I didn't completely mess up, but what I did is I cut them to where when I lay my fabric over, I can just pull this. Um, I cut it a little close to the board right here. Let me see if y'all can see it. Let me get some lights. Hold on, let me turn on lights. That's a little better, I think. But anyways, so this time on this side, cut it a little bit further away. So that way I have room to staple and I've got overlapping material. Uh, I did burn the edges to keep them from fraying. So now we're gonna try to uh, glue this, see how it works. All right, so I'm super happy with the way that turned out. It was kind of stressful because I have no idea what I'm doing. I've said that about 10 times during this process, but we've got some staples in the corner. Got a staple in this corner and then a couple staples down here. But I think it looks good. Now we just have two more to go. All right, I've got all the door panels done. I think they look really, really good for my amateur skills. I don't know, you can see a little bit of imperfections. It is what it is, and I did it. So, I'm happy with the results. Earlier, not earlier, just, just a little bit ago, I actually did this panel right here. This is the panel where your door handle goes, and I surprised myself. I did this on TikTok, recorded it, didn't think it was gonna work out, so I was just trying it, recording with the smartphone, and uh, it worked. So I'm gonna show y'all how I got the results because I'm super excited about these results on this piece. I'm gonna show you how I do that now. All right, if y'all can see, I did the same thing as I did on the last panel, but this time I could not staple because this is plastic. So I made all the cuts which I'm about to do on this panel. Let me, just, let me just make these cuts and get a close up shot of how I'm doing this. All right, so here you go. This is how I did it, with cutting the way I did, so it all, this is hard to do, so that way I can pull this over and it can glue right here. Pull this over, now I cut, this is a little too short, right here. I should have cut out this way, a little bit uh, wider. Had more material to work with, but it is what it is. Yeah, see, it should have done like that, but it eh, went too far. Oh well. Now we just gotta glue it and stick it and we'll be done with this one. Dang, I even got the panels, each piece lined up perfectly. Man, 